How can anal sex be an intimate and erotic experience that strengthens the emotional connection between partners? What is the role of hormones in postpartum sexual desire? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Anal sex can be an intimate and erotic experience that strengthens the emotional connection between partners by promoting open communication, mutual trust, and caring for each other's well-being. The practice of anal sex requires greater intimacy and vulnerability, which can foster a sense of complicity and emotional connection between partners willing to explore new ways of pleasure and sexual satisfaction together. After childbirth, hormonal levels, such as prolactin, can affect sexual desire. Some women experience a temporary decrease in desire due to breastfeeding and other hormonal changes. However, this is usually temporary, and sexual desire tends to recover over time. Robot Fetishism with the advancement of technology, some people experience sexual attraction to robots or artificial intelligences, known as robot fetishism. Role-playing. Some couples enjoy role-playing during foreplay, where they can explore different fantasies and erotic scenarios, such as doctor-patient play, teacher-student, or clandestine encounters. Safe exploration. It's always important to practice consent, safety, and respect when exploring fetishes and sexual fantasies. This ensures that all parties involved feel comfortable and secure. Sense of adventure. Some women are attracted to men who are willing to explore the world and have exciting experiences. Sensual massage. Sensual massages during foreplay can help relax muscles, reduce anxiety, and increase sexual arousal in women, creating an intimate and stimulating environment for sexual activity. Sex and creativity. Sex and creativity are related in various ways. Many artists and writers have found inspiration in their sex lives. The connection between artistic expression and intimacy can be a source of innovation and personal expression. Sex and longevity. Regular sexual activity has been associated with increased longevity in some studies. Intimacy and sex can have health benefits as people age. Sex and pregnancy. Having sexual relations during pregnancy is generally safe, unless otherwise indicated by a doctor. In fact, many couples find that their sex life improves during this period. Sex and sports. Regular physical activity can improve sexual function and performance. Exercise can increase stamina and blood circulation, often translating into better sexual health. Sex education in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is known for its comprehensive sex education, starting at an early age and focusing on open communication and consent. This has led to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases compared to other countries. Sex in the Middle Ages. During the Middle Ages, sexuality was influenced by religious morality and a lack of sexual education. However, erotic manuals and sexual practices also existed. Sexomnia is a sleep disorder in which a person engages in sexual acts while asleep, unaware of their actions. It can lead to awkward situations and may require medical attention. In urban settings in developing countries, Sexual and reproductive health clinics run by young people have been established to provide counseling, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives tailored to the needs of young populations. Sexual diversity. Human sexuality is diverse and fluid, going beyond the traditional male and female dichotomy. There is a variety of sexual orientations, gender identities, and sexual expressions that reflect the complexity of the human experience. Sexual education. Lack of adequate sexual education and societal pressure to achieve orgasm can contribute to the development of anorgasmia by creating unrealistic expectations and increasing anxiety during sexual encounters sexual fantasies, and erotic literature. 
Erotic literature has been a source of inspiration for many people in their sexual fantasies. Erotic stories can allow people to explore scenarios and experiences that may not be possible in real life. Sexual health. Maintaining good sexual health involves not only disease prevention, but also emotional well-being and enjoying safe and consensual sexual relationships. Sexual Motivations, the University of Texas, conducted research identifying 237 different motivations for having sex. Interestingly, having children and relieving tension are no longer the main reasons. Other motivations include getting closer to God, burning calories, returning a favor, changing the topic of conversation, and even getting rid of a headache. This study demonstrates that human sexual motivations are extremely complex. Sexual pleasure at all stages of life. Sexual pleasure is not limited to youth. People of all ages can enjoy a satisfying and fulfilling sex life. Sexuality is an integral part of human well-being at all stages of life. Sexual response cycle. The traditional model of the sexual response cycle includes four phases, excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution. However, this model can vary in each individual and may not always follow a linear pattern. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Sexuality and culture. Sexuality is strongly influenced by cultural factors, such as social norms, religious beliefs, and family traditions, which can lead to a wide diversity of attitudes and sexual practices in different parts of the world. Sexuality as an integral part of well-being. Sexuality is an integral part of physical, emotional, and social well-being. A healthy and satisfying sexuality can contribute to better overall quality of life. Sexuality in advertising. Sexuality is often used in advertising to sell products, leveraging sexual attraction and gender stereotypes to capture public attention and drive sales. Sexuality in art. Since ancient times, sexuality has been a recurring theme in art, represented in paintings, sculptures, and other forms of artistic expression as a reflection of cultural and social beliefs about the body and desire. Sexuality in therapy. Sex therapy is a specialized field that helps people address sexual problems and improve their sex life through exploration of thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and relationships related to sexuality. Shared passions and interests. Sharing common interests and hobbies can strengthen a connection. Finding common ground and enjoying activities together can be attractive. Silicone fetishism. This fetish involves sexual attraction to the use of silicone objects, such as realistic sex dolls or erotic toys. Simulated orgasms. Some women have admitted to faking orgasms during sexual encounters. This may be due to various reasons, including social pressure or concerns about their partner's satisfaction. Skin fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by touching, caressing, or even licking another person's skin. This fetish may be related to tactile sensation and physical intimacy. Smell and attraction. The sense of smell can influence sexual attraction. A person's natural scent, their pheromones, may play a role in sexual chemistry and attraction. Smoking and erectile dysfunction. Smoking can significantly increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction due to the effects of tobacco on blood vessels and blood flow to the penis. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and